did I just do? What is going on? Oh. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're gonna be doing some pond fishing. More importantly, I hope we're gonna be doing some bed fishing. I haven't been out to this pond in about a month and a half. And I'm assuming that they're gonna be on bed today, so that's the game plan. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into this because I'm expecting some big fish action. I don't wanna hold you guys up too long. But let's go ahead and hop in to today's video. Try to catch some big fish. More importantly, try to catch our biggest fish of the year. Let's get it. Before we start fishing and start casting, I'm gonna show you guys the rig up process, what we're gonna be putting on today, and go ahead and get that out of the way. So I actually have this fire crawl thunder cricket on. This is actually Fletcher's. I forgot to give it back to him. Forgot it was on my rod. Um, we're not gonna be throwing that today. You know, these fish, I predict, I haven't even walked by the pond, but I'm predicting they're gonna be pushed up very shallow and they're gonna be on bed. With that being said, I'm wanting to go with a more subtle approach and I'm going to put on a Texas rig. So I have a quarter ounce bullet weight. We're gonna put that on our line, boom. I have a three aught extra wide gap hook. We're gonna tie this on real quick. If you guys are wondering about what knot, it is a uni knot. If you guys wanna learn how to tie this, go to the YouTube searches, type in kicking their bass TV uni knot and the video should pop up. All right, so we got the weight on here, we got the hook. Now lastly is obviously gonna be the bait and I am using a rage crawl and this is an interesting color. It's green pumpkin pearl. So on half of the bait, it's green pumpkin and on the other half is actually a pearl white. And you guys are probably gonna ask me, Noah, I've never seen you throw this color before. Why are you throwing this color? Well, when it comes to bed fishing, I like seeing my bait. But at the same time, I still like throwing a good natural color. And with this being half pearl white and half green pumpkin, one, I'm gonna be able to see the bait and two, it's still gonna have that natural profile. So this is exactly what we're rigging up. We're gonna go through the head of the bait, break it through, slide. Am I bleeding? There's a little bit of red in there. I thought I was bleeding. <laughs> slide the bait up. We're gonna weedless hook it. Boom, just like that. And this is the little rig that we're going with today. All right, y'all, we're gonna walk up to this pond. I actually just saw a big boy, two big boils. Yeah, they're they're up, they gotta be up shallow. Okay, one thing when it comes to bed fishing, these fit, if you can see the fish, this is a rule of thumb. If you can see the fish, the fish can see you the majority of the time. So I'm actually gonna play this very strategically. I'm gonna stay way far away from this bank. I'm gonna cast right on up here. And let that bait sink. Imagine catching one on our first cast. I, I have a feeling the fish is gonna be really good today. We've had a good warming trend these last few days, and I think these fish are gonna be pushed back up on these beds. Okay. They didn't get a bite first cast. I think that's a good thing. If you guys want to check out any of the Kicking Their Bass TV combos, they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com. We have the right hand bait casters, left hand, and also spinning combos. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. I appreciate everybody who supports me and the brand. Oop. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that fish was big, but that was a crazy bite. Wow. Well good to have a bite that quick the last couple times i've been out here guys it's been hard to like land five fish on the bank within like three to five hours this has been pretty tough so i'm hoping it's going to be different today and we're going to end up catching some big ones too that's that's what i'm hoping you know this is the time of year where fishing tends to get pretty dang good and i know you guys are probably asking i haven't seen any beds this far i haven't seen any water is a slight little slightly murky but no i haven't seen any beds but then again we haven't walked far we haven't looked too much i see some fry right there on the edge of the bank some of these fish have definitely already bedded in here Ooh, i think i might have just spotted our first bed 
Oh, I actually see a dang fish, guys. Here we go. He's not on the bed. He's a little further off on this grass patch. I'm gonna reel this crawl right in front of his. Oh, he just boiled off. Look at that boil. I don't know if you guys see that. Golly. Oh, look at that freaking boil, guys. That had to have been a female. Wow. I didn't see that fish pull back up. That was a little further off the bank. So what we're gonna keep in mind here, we might not get this fish to bite right now, but we could come back in about 20 minutes in hopes that this fish is pulled back up on the spot. Let's see if we can get a shot at catching her. Oh my God, it was a big one. And I messed up again. Wow. No, well, come on now. I messed up last time I was here, guys, and I messed up again. So last time, the reason I lost that fish was because I hook set up, and you see that tree? And it broke my line. So this time I tried to hook set to the side so I wouldn't hit that tree, and I ended up just not getting a good hook on him. Golly. <laughs> well, maybe third time's a charm. Maybe we'll get him next time we're here. saw me dude i mean like i said if he saw me I, or if i saw him he might have saw me i see one of them swimming i see they're actually both looking at me oh yeah one's creeping up on the bed we're having to play very stealthy because these fish are so dang smart out here fishing i'm trying to stay low they, they still know i'm up here and they're not like locked so i don't really want to get too obvious here with what i'm doing well guys, the fish are acting a little different than what I was expecting. They're not they're not pushed up on bed how they should. There's all there there are a few on bed, don't get me wrong. But they're not pushed up how they should. Not only are they not pushed up how they should, but they're just not cooperating. The ones that are pushed up shallow, you could tell they're very finicky. Um, they're not super territorial. They're not really aggressive by any means. Not really fish that I can sit there and, and play with and have confidence in catching. So I'm about to tie on this Thunder Cricket by Strike King. If you guys want to check out any of the baits or rods that I use, description box down below. I have the links and discount codes. We are going to fish fairly shallow. I am going to start trying out a little deeper too because who knows, this fish might be pulled off. But yeah, that's kind of the game plan um, until we figure, figure something out. That boil right there. Oh my goodness, one grabbed it right there. He didn't eat it all the way. I was like stepping down. I actually watched him eat it. I didn't even feel him. What in the world? <laughs> it's gonna be a little tough day on us, ain't it? We got more of a natural color now, just a white and chartreuse, a little fluke on the back of it. Let's see if this does the trick. See if this increase our bites because we have not had fish committing we haven't really had fish biting and so i'm having to switch up to figure out you know really what these fish want to see what they want today because i know it's possible to catch them i can tell that they're not wanting to eat at all i mean this is going to be a tough day either way we see it but i know there's a way to catch them oh my goodness that's a nice one. There he is. Nice little two pounder. <laughs> Nothing big. Got that fish turned on it. That See, that's the first really good eat today. You know, yeah, I lost that good one on the crawl earlier, but I don't even know if he ate it good. I mean, I didn't get him pinned. Yes, I don't think it was the best hook set in the world. But then again, I'm not sure. But look at how he ate that white one right there with the chartreuse. That's how you want it. I saw him roll on it right there. He actually looked, he looked a lot bigger when he rolled on it. He looked like he could have been three pounds, but I'll take a solid two pounder to start off the video, guys. 
it took us a good second. I mean, we've been fishing for close to two hours without a fish and then just finally landed one. So today is a tough day. We're not gonna let it hold us back. We're gonna keep on going and try to get some big fish on the bank. This gives me a lot of confidence seeing that fish eat that chatterbait. Thank you, buddy. There we go. All right, y'all. Maybe we finally found the juice. Just maybe. I haven't thrown it too long. I'm, I'm trying to get to this other side of the lake over here, over, over to the other side of the pond and see if this fish would be set up differently over there. So I'm just working. Oh, this next cast is big. That's a three plus. Dude, come on now. We might have found it, guys. It's what we needed all along. Man, look at that. That's a high two. He ain't three. <laughs> that had me so excited, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, man, that's a chunkier, dude. We got to upgrade from the last one. Next cast, man. Maybe that's what we needed to fire these fish off is that color right there. Is that not crazy? Is that not insane just to see the difference on how the baits and the colors of the baits can make the fish bite. It's unbelievable, man. That's a pretty one. We're gonna toss him back in the water. We're gonna keep going. Second fish. Boys, I couldn't even finish the sentence before we, <laughs> before we had another fish. Isn't that crazy how your day can turn around just like that? If I catch another one, I'm gonna lose it. Let me tell you, I'm gonna lose it. They're tackling this color too. It ain't like they're just barely playing around with their falling. I mean, they, they are literally tackling. I've watched the last two eat it, which is pretty crazy. Let's see if we can get us a real big one right here. Let's, let's put our heads down, cover a lot of water, and see if we can get one of these true giants to bite it. Those aren't bad fish, but they're not. Dude, come on now. Come on now. What is going on? Mm. All right. Y'all, I don't know what is going on. Either we found the best dang bait, the best color choice, the best retrieve, whatever the heck we're doing, we're doing right, or we just came to the right side of the pond. That fish is a little bigger than the last one. They're, they're slightly getting bigger every time. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, like I said, not, not any biggins, but these are all good fish. I mean, they're all good two pounders. That one's close to three if he had a little more chunk to him, but. That's a pretty bass right there, guys. You gotta love it, getting in the outdoors. And more importantly, figuring out what the fish want and starting to catch them. I mean, we were out here for almost two hours, guys, without a dang bite. Well, we had one bite and we had a couple rolls and, and almost three casts, that was four casts. And out of the four casts, we have three pretty good fish on the new bait. This, I mean, I, I, you can't make it up, guys. You really can't. Wow. I'm just mind blown right now. <laughs> Guys, let's just keep it going, baby. Let's just keep on making it happen. Let's imagine we get another one on this cast. I, I'm, it's 100% the bait. I mean, it's if we get another one in this corner, 100% the bait. I I don't know. It's, this is just unbelievable to see fish not biting at all, acting like they didn't want to eat anything. I mean, anything. And then you put, put this bait on right here. And they're eating it. So this is a, a white and chartreuse chatter donk. It's got a white pearl fluke on the back of it. And it has a gold blade. And this is a 3 8 ounce. And they are just crushing it, boys. They are crushing it. But this also makes me wonder. We fished all of this corner, all that side, all of this bank. We threw a couple casts in here prior before tying on this bait. But it's almost making me think, too, what if this side of the bank going back there is where most of these fish are loaded up on. That, that's a question that we're not gonna find out until we start going down there, but we might've just found the right area as well. It might not just be the bait. I think the bait has something to do with it because I had a lot of followers on those other baits, but you know, us going back on this side and in this corner, this, this might be the juice little area. Yeah, this is bait, 100%, 100%. Another freaking decent one. Don't get you in the goose poopy. Not a big one, but like I said, they're all like good. Just 
two to three pounds like man there's some nice fish i want to say this is either the same size as the last one or bigger than the last one like we were just upgrading and i hope it continues to go like that throughout the day but look at the belly on that one pretty pretty bass that that fish right there is every bit of two and three quarter pounds he ain't three but he's a nice one thanks baby I mean, man this is crazy so one thing i need to pay attention to on this bank too very shallow water right this is actually a pretty much a big flat so it's pretty flat and then it has a drop off out there in the middle so those fish if they're around these beds those beds could be all the way out on, on this flat just like that third fish i ended up catching you know i did catch them a little further off the bank those other bass i caught them near the beds but just because i caught them off the bank doesn't mean he's not near beds especially on a flat like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cast out here and really play around with keeping this bottom contact one and two reeling this bait very steady giving it some sporadic pops and see if we can catch some more of these fish that are off the bank feel a bit what is the timing on that he ain't a big one but <laughs> i was just saying i'm feeling a big one right here and then i got slammed not a big one but a nice one look at that pretty bass another two pounder man the two pounders are biting today man i they are not big by any means but good healthy fish i mean you cannot complain with catching them i'm just having a good time guys it don't matter if they're 10 pounds or they're two pounds i'm still having fun it makes me question so much it, not just about today this, this makes me question many of fishing trips and what did i say earlier i said i know these fish aren't biting good i mean dude he almost ate me right there hold on we, we don't even have time to talk give me a second anyways guys what, would I, what was i saying earlier i said you know the fishing seems very tough today i said but there's always a way to catch them i said no matter how tough it is there is always a way to catch them okay we could have thrown every bait in the book we only stuck to two or three different baits okay but we finally found something that hit so the fishing can be one of the most tough days that you've ever had but in reality one you could be throwing the wrong bait two you could be throwing the wrong color because i was throwing the exact same dang bait in a different color they wouldn't touch it and that that just shows that there's always something you can switch up to there's always ways that you can adapt whether you're on a pond whether you're on a lake whether you're on a river to catch more fish and they're freaking smoking that's the biggest one here. is it no that's a thick body bass and look how they're eating it guys i mean look look at that okay we thought today yeah that's close to three pounds he ain't there but he's close i mean we thought today had to have been one of the toughest days that i had been out in a minute i mean i never just I, yeah it's been tough the last couple times we've been out here okay like i told you guys we only caught around five fish the other times we've been out here but we already caught over five in the matter of freaking 25 minutes or we caught is this our sixth one i think this is our sixth one in 25 minutes guys and for two hours we didn't have a bite yeah that one's close to three <laughs> and i can't even it's just insane to me and it's a great feeling get outside guys do some fishing if you're not having the best luck switch up adapt adjust doesn't mean you're going to catch them every time but try new things and that is definitely not a technique that i've tr that i haven't tried before but i wasn't going to do it today until i tied it on and now you guys see what's happening oh my god look at that boil dude oh and he didn't eat it oh gosh that fish was big now that was a freaking tank i know you guys couldn't see that whole scenario that just went down so if you guys are wondering how we're rigging this we're just slapping it right on the back here nothing nothing crazy pretty dang basic make some good fan, fan cast out here yeah they up on them cypress trees he actually my bull trying to eat it there i spooked him he might have tried to eat it you know, second time around yeah. see that boil right there last year there's a lot of good bed fish right oh yeah they're on the freaking bank there's a ton of them 
And they just spooked off. A lot of them spooked off. They're acting so weird, man. They're not, they're not ready. I need to give it another week. Honestly, give it a couple more days, I would think. Just imagine like a 14 pounder come up through the slop and boosh. I believe that fish is back up on that side of the street. We're gonna get him fired up. Let's try. I think our best bet is to skip it up there. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the best idea. Holy cow, that freaking boil was insane. See, that's a good one. There's a couple up there. There's a smaller one and a bigger one, a male and a female. <sighs> that was crazy. Oh! Oh my gosh. What did I just do? crazy it's the freaking small one this one's every bit of three pounds it's the freaking small one you are the freaking small one you're every bit of three dude golly you're almost three and a half i couldn't imagine how big that one i hooked a second ago was i don't even want to know how big that freaking donkey was i hooked a second ago thank you baby i mean i'm gonna tell you I thought it was a dang tree. I mean, the thing was so dang heavy, I felt like I had a cinder block on the end of my line. And I wanna say she ain't gonna bite again, but then again, I just janked that male off the bed. I don't know if she's pulled back up or not. These ones actually seem locked. I just got drilled, dude. I don't know how he didn't eat that thing. <laughs> that was a good little bite. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. They're all about the same, though. Like, I mean, I'd say he's that two and a half pound range, and that bait just smacked the mess out of me. Mm -mm -mm. He actually ate it pretty good. Maybe that hook's just getting worn out or something. Hey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That thing got me good. That thing smacked me in the elbow. Oh. Stuck that fish too. Dang it. I was on bed. I see there's a couple beds down this bank. He definitely came off one of them beds. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's four pounder. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that. It came right off. Oh my goodness, boys. Four pounder yonder. We've been waiting on it all day. That is by far our biggest one today. <laughs> what a way. What a way to catch one. I want to say that that's not the same fish that bit me before. I don't think he would have ate it again. I stuck that other fish pretty good. It's a beautiful one though. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Let's go, man. That is sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. We just caught a four pounder, but I'm just more amazed with this dang bait and how it turned around our day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the freaking like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one.